Hello guys and welcome back. This is day nine of the 49ers training camp. Um, sorry I haven't been up to date. Like I said, I work in hospitality and all the restaurants. And um, yeah, here I am. We are going to do day nine of the 49ers training camp. Before I start, um, look in the description below. There is a video of me telling you what I'll be doing on the preseason and the regular season of the NFL um, season this year. Have a look at the video, tell me what you think. And um, yeah, I'll shout out and get on with uh, day nine of the training camp. Okay, so as you can see, si.com forward slash NFL forward slash 49ers news. This is all about the good and not so good from day nine of the 49ers training camp. This is with Grant Cohen, which I've said in plenty of my videos. Look out for Grant Cohen right here. Type that name in YouTube and he's got his own YouTube channel and he does a lot about the 49ers. Have a look at that. He knows what he's talking about. So here we go. Uh, this is analysing the, the, the best and worst performances from day nine of the 49ers training camp. Here's who stood out on day nine of the training camp. Keep in mind, the 49ers practice in Levi Stadium in front of more than 20,000 fans. So here we go with the good. Number one. First time he's in here. Head coach Carl Shanahan. Managed to take Jimmy G looking good in front of 20,000 fans. Called lots of uh, short passes and benched the fall for the first time in a few days. Uh, which means Gropper had all day to throw. Uh, and then Jason Vert broke up a few of his passes. Shanahan benched him too. This is exactly how you uh, officially boost a quarterback's trade value just before the season starts. Beautifully executed. Okay, and number two, cornerback Jason Vern broke up three of Grappolo's passes during team drills. Vern is the best cornerback I've ever covered. He's phenomenal. Number three, free safety, Jamie Ward. Uh, read Jimmy Grappolo's eyes and almost intercepted the, uh, the long throw up, seemed, uh, up the streams to Kittle. Ward hasn't given up any long throws to Jimmy Garoppolo uh, within the nine within the days of training camp, especially during day nine. Uh, Garoppolo's longest completion has travelled just 20 yards past the line of scrimmage. Number four, running back Raheem Moser took a toss to the right and exploded around the end of the 20 yards before he get uh, got touched. He's still the best running back on the team, which we all know. Number five, linebacker Fred Warner. Uh, stop rookie running back Trey Simone for no gain twice. Number six, running back Trey Simone. Had a 20-yard gain while playing for the first string offense. Turn a run to his uh, right and cut back to his left. He's quick. Number seven, fullback Cole Drusek. Beat Warner uh, for a deep catch during the one-on-ones. Drusek is one of the most difficult players in the 49 to cover. It's criminal how frequently they threw him the ball. Number eight. Uh, number eight, which is defensive tackle, uh, can Devontae Street uh, return to practice after getting poked in the eye by uh, Lake and Thompson. Street crippled insanity and stayed down for at least three minutes. Good to see he's okay. Number nine, wide receiver Kevin White caught a 10 yards pass over the middle from Garoppolo, then caught a 25 yard pass uh, the middle from Nate Stuffield. Well, uh, probably won't make the team, but should. Number 10, linebacker, uh, Michelle Harris, intercepted the pass that tipped off running back uh, Eli Mitchell's hands. Harris is a clear better linebacker than a safety. Number 11, quarterback Josh Rosen, completed all of his pass attempts for the first time in camp. Uh, guaranteed he threw only four passes still. He looked sharp and uh, delayed in the first time. His best throw was a 10-yard completion to Chunch uh, Sheffield, running an out route to the right. Maybe he still has heart. No, but not so good. Here we go. Centre Alex Mack lost all five of his reps during the one-on-ones pass box drills. Uh, Darren Daniels beat him twice and put him on the knee once. Uh, Kevin Givens beat Mack with a spin move and a ball rush. And McQuire Hurst beat Mack with a curve to the outside. Mack looks old. Okay. Number two. God, Aaron Banks. Uh, split his reps with Domain Daniels during one on ones, then gave up two tackles for his loss to Hurst during 11 on 11s. Seemed nowhere near ready to start. I ain't good. Yet again, Nick Bosa in the not so good. Uh, number three, defensive end Nick Bosa still hasn't participated in one on ones or 11 on 11s, and doubt he'll ever will during this camp. I wonder if, if it's the 49s who are being extra cautious with Bosa. Only if it's Bosa's camp who is being 
extra cautious. The 49ers haven't been near as protector of the Ford, who has Spain, uh, who has a spine problem. I'm just saying. Defensive end, oh, Armstead missed his second because that's his practice with a groin injury. It's only something to monitor. Number five, defensive tackle, Javon Kinlaw, missed practice entirely after participating on 11-11s just yesterday. Canvas guy ever practiced two days in a row. He's starting to look like a bust. To that, that's fucking true. Number six, defensive end, uh, Samson Ibukman, missed his third practice with legs on. It seems clear he's something more than severe. Uh, Severe, but the 49ers haven't told us, but he doesn't even show up to work through drills. Number seven, guard Tom Compton gave up multiple sets, still the worst player on the team. Like, what the hell's going on? Especially Bosa, man. Like, what the fuck is Bosa doing? I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not even joking. If Bosa, who can't get off his ass and recover his legs, there's no point of him coming back. If, if if he can't handle the leg situation from his torn ACL, we can't have this guy in. So many websites, um, journalists, refs, officials, pundits, whatever you want to call them, every single website near enough is saying exactly the same thing. They'll survive. They'll do all right. Shut up, man. This is... I mean, Nick Bosa... Might even do the regular season, might do the season. If he's out of the, you know, if he does, if he doesn't do nothing on the regular season, he'll continue on from the normal season onwards. How do you know this guy ain't going to fuck it up? We just don't know. But I'm scared of Nick Bosa. But anyway, leave your comments down below, tell me what you think of the article, and tell me what you think about Nick Bosa. Is he ready for this season? Other than that, Thank you very much for the 40 subscribers. Really fortunate. Humble appreciate it for you guys subscribed. And if you're new, subscribe. And I'll do a lot more 49ers, NFL news, gaming, uh, streams, the full work. So uh, stay tuned. And thanks for guys for watching. I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.